Let's go ahead and put on this ignition you got. Okay. It's actually really easy. You could install it yourself. Why don't you show me? I already took the condenser off. Just take the points plate off. I've never used a ratchet in my life. Okay. <laughs> points. What's the point? So go ahead and take that little 10 millimeter screw off carefully because you're going to take the advancer and put the new rotor on it. Go ahead and remove the old rotor, but before you do, check the springs on that advancer. You just want to make sure that they snap back all the way and they have good tension on them. Now, if you read the instructions, it'll tell you to locate the magnet on the rotor. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. There's a little arrow on your advancer. See if you can find that. It'll be stamped on the plate on the outside. There's an arrow here. So what you want to do is face that magnet towards the arrow. That's it. Okay. Then you can just kind of put it in your place. Good. So the magnet is facing towards the arrow. We're going to plug in this little jumper here that came with the kit. What you do is you plug it into the power for the coils and then plug the coil in over here. Then our ignition is going to go on the other side. See how that works? The coil plugs into the jumper. The jumper plugs into the lead for the coil. Then the ignition plugs into the other side of the jumper. Okay, why don't you go ahead and put that on? It's nicely color-coded, yellow to yellow, blue to blue. The black and white, which is your power, plugs into the little jumper. See how easy that was? Very easy.